Well, the starting point for this album, Milo Xyloto, was to make a story, an album that had a story. The finished album, you can see the story if you want to, or you can ignore it if you want to. But it, um, it was an idea about the power of love and connection to help people escape from their troubles or, or their situations because it came from looking at the news you know, with all the terrorism and all the war and uh, just thinking about young people and whether maybe two people could meet and escape from a place like you know, Afghanistan. Or mm -hmm. So that was the starting point. It's quite a long story and, and it's quite difficult to remember exactly how it came about but ultimately we wanted something that uh, was totally new. We wanted, a set, we wanted a set of words or a phrase or something that didn't exist before. And a new language. Yeah. And the idea of being able to type it into Google and there'd be nothing else, no other hits, you know, there's nothing. Those words don't exist. They and do now on Google. Do they? No. <laughs> now they've arrived because ah. someone did that PRS. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> but before so it was like zero results. Yeah. It's our version of a concept album. Uh, the, the, the concept of a concept album is, is quite strange. I think it, it's, uh, you know, f we want it to be subtle and, and not, it's not um, overtly about something like Chris says. It's just, it's, there's, a, there's a story if you want to find it, but it doesn't mean that if you don't have a story, you can't enjoy the music. No, that, but that kind of discusses the theme of the album, which is, trying to turn a bad situation into a good situation. So trying to turn a teardrop into a waterfall. Mm -hmm. no. Not really, really, I don't know. Really, we don't really have an answer for that question, as Matt will tell you. Musically, there's, there's always mountains to climb. Mm -hmm. And I think, um, so whilst people sometimes say those very nice things about us, there's always a feeling that we've still got a long way to go. Mm -hmm. But in England, when people call us the biggest band in the world, they mean it as an insult, <laughs> I think. Would you agree with that, Matt? They always say, this is the biggest band in the world and this is the best band in the world. <laughs> and we're always one, but never the other. Yes? <laughs> Just not care about... I think it's very difficult to know when is the right time to stop. Because bands never get to that point. They either go on too long or they stop too short. I, don't think there's, I can't think of a single band but then there's definitely a point at which they start to tail off. So I just hope that we keep enjoying it and that we keep having that kind of, that desire to keep going. Because when that stops, then that definitely is the time to, to finish. At this particular time, I can't imagine trying to make another album because we've used every idea <laughs> on this one. So that idea seems very impossible. Well, all I can say is that as outsiders in um, Japan, we feel very grateful to be here. We love coming back here. Obviously, um, Japan has been in the news all this year and uh, we all felt very sad and emotional about those events, but we also felt like if there was one place in the world that could deal with a tragedy like that, it was Japan. And so um, we send our respect and we send our love and uh, we are grateful for you having us in your country. Mm -hmm. That's our message. <laughs>